Good readings, beautiful earthlings. My name is Star. If you are new here, I don't know how you found me, but I am super grateful to have you. And if you are returning, y'all, the real MVP, you already know. So today, my friends, I wanted to kind of talk to you about Kyle Gray and the whole situation that's been going on with me kind of falling down a Kyle Gray rabbit hole, but I felt like I needed to give you a little bit of backstory um, before I get into what I wanted to talk about. So um, I am going to read to you from my phone just because I don't want to miss any details. So I did, um, I had this crazy dream, right? And um, if you guys are like me, you know that your, your dreams are astral travel, right? It's you going to other dimensions, it's you, um, basically working out things that you need to work out while you're asleep, right? So um, I did have this crazy dream of what I believe to be an encounter with one of my guides and it was really crazy so I had to tell my aunt the second I woke up. That way I didn't um, lose any of the details because if I tried to write all of this that would have been just way too much. So um, bear with me here for a second so that I can read this to you. I am going to read it from my phone like I said and then um, I'm going to try to kind of I don't know if I'm going to do it a separate video talking about Kyle Gray or if I can do this in under 30 minutes because I'm sure I'm going to lose a lot of you. Um, so just realize, you guys, if you don't know who Kyle Gray is, he is an angel medium. So this is going to be an angel focused video. So if you guys are not a big fan of my angel videos, um, this might not be the one for you. It's going to be very angel focused. So uh, let's go ahead and just jump into my recollection of this dream that I had. So. It started out with, OMG, I had this crazy encounter in my dream. I was in a parking lot and walking, just walking, I would think I was walking to like a town or a city or something. I remember seeing something very, very far in the distance and I was just kind of in this like plane. So I said parking lot because it, it kind of resonates to where I was. It was just a big empty space, but I wasn't on grass. I was very specifically on concrete. I remember that. So I was in a parking lot just walking and a group of crows flew over me. So I stood there and watched them like a huge group of crows, like hundreds and hundreds of them. Ridiculous, crazy, doesn't happen in real life, right? Unless you're in San Diego, there's a specific part of San Diego that that happens often. So it says one crow dove down toward me and it had human like eyes. I was scared, but I told myself not to be afraid and to see what it wants. In midair, it started shifting colors and fragments and I said, oh, it's like an anamorph. And it flew around me in what seemed like slow-mo so that I could see it shifting. Then it turned into a bottlenose turtle flying in the air. And then as it got near me, it started to turn into a cheetah. It took a couple more forms and I remember thinking, I have to remember each of these forms specifically to in my waking life figure out what they mean, right? So last it turned into a huge larger than life hawk and it flew toward me with its talons open and I started running or trying to run. I remember it was like running in quicksand and um, I started running and screaming, no way, not cool. Those things are sharp. Can we not with the sharp talons, please? And it grabbed my arm, but it felt like a soft hand. It didn't feel like crazy talons, right? So I stood still and as I allowed it to come to me, it flew circles around me and it seemed to get larger and larger. I could barely look at it in the face and I asked if I could look at it because it was, um, there was like a blurred shield in front of it, if that makes sense. So I asked if I could look at it and it stopped and it perched on the ground next to me and it looked at me with its human eyes and I realized I hadn't even been talking. We were communicating telepathically. So I asked if I could touch it and it spread its wings and bowed its head. It must have been 20 feet tall. So I pet its head and it was soft like a baby bunny and it heard me say that it was so soft. So it unshielded its face so that I could look at it. Its beak was broken and it had scars on its face. I said, oh no, your beak is broken. And I touched it and it started regenerating. So I touched its face where the scars were and it started glowing. It threw up its wings and it made happy bird sounds. And then it puffed up its chest really big so that all I could do was hug it. It shrunk down in size to my size so that I could hug it. And it wrapped its wings around me. And I remember thinking, hawk, remember the hawk. Tell Rose about the hawk, it's so soft. And then it looked at me in the eyes again, and I would say it had eyes much like an owl. 
The beak looked the same. The big fluffy chest, I keep saying hawk, but it definitely wasn't any one animal. Like it was trying to be an animal for me to feel safe with it, but each animal it took the form of had something of another animal as well. Anyway, we stood there for what seemed like hours hugging and I pet it and it seemed to be petting me also with its wings until the flock of crows started to fly overhead again. It bowed its head at me and spread its wings almost like a proper gentleman's bow and it rubbed its face on me again like a cat and I laughed and it did the whole process again of flying in circles around me and changing forms until it turned back into a crow and flew away. I remember the feeling in my heart of laughter and unconditional love while in its presence. It had a golden aura and it was so beautiful. It looked just like this, same coloration and everything. And I found a picture and it, it's an owl. So I, I think it's really funny that I kept saying hawk even though it was an owl. And um, the reason that I talk about that is because that was a couple of days right before the, the Great Conjunction. I thought for some reason it was after, but it actually was before. And I had been um, trying in meditation to ask my guides to show themselves to me because although I have felt the presence of my guides, I have heard my guides, I have never seen their faces. I've never seen figures. I've never seen any of that. It's always kind of just a blur to me. So I go off of vibrations when I am connecting with my guides. I go off of feelings, vibrations, sounds, and energy, and kind of colors and auras. So I've never like seen one in the face. And this was just absolutely mind-blowing and I um, Rose later on goes on to say I do think you're right that it was one of your guides that was trying to figure out which form to take uh, to resonate the most with you and that's really interesting to me that it chose to be an owl because um, I've never been like overtly drawn to owls I've never felt like I had an owl like animal totem or anything like that so I thought it was really interesting that of all of the animals it chose to be an owl so it must have been something that I really needed to see right and I think it's really interesting that in the dream I did not take the time to ask its name I did not ask you know who it was or what it wanted or what it was there for or anything I was just basking in the experience and prior to this I had just started um, going down my Kyle Gray rabbit hole okay so the way that I happened down my Kyle Gray rabbit hole is that um, I had an angel prayers oracle by Kyle Gray on my wish list for the longest time and it's never changed price right and because of the holidays I got lots of gift cards and I decided to go back through my wish list and I kept looking at tarot decks and I was like man I've got 20 something tarot decks I don't need another tarot deck I need an oracle deck so I was looking at my oracle decks and I was you know looking through the pictures and the reviews and things like that and just none of them were speaking to me so I finally got to the very end, which was the Kyle Gray Angel Prayers Oracle, and I was looking at the reviews and I was just, I was so blown away by what everyone had to say about Kyle Gray as an angel medium, and I was like, done. Didn't even think twice about it, added it to my cart, bought it, and it's from, I believe, the book depository I've ordered from them before, and I had to, like, wait a really ridiculously amount of time like two or three weeks or something for this to get to me so in the meantime I thought let me figure out who Kyle Gray is let me let me look into this so I went to YouTube and I found Kyle Gray and I was watching his videos and if you guys have never seen a Kyle Gray video you've never seen him speak it's pretty mesmerizing it's pretty entrancing he is a very young angel medium and he has built a crazy life on that um having done tons of books tons of speeches tons of oracle decks right he does a lot and i was just watching not only the the videos about who he was as a person just like little things like his shoe collection and his crystal collection and his favorite books then i started watching his like angel prayers and his meditations and his speeches and things like that and i i just remember thinking this is what i want to do this is what i want to be and i'm so far from that like i'm so far from that and in order to attract that to myself, I need to start doing that. I need to start living that and I need to start being that in order to attract 
that soul tribe around me because as it stands, I have very few people around me that really like my angel content, that really like me talking about the angels. I do feel really like alienated in the group of people that I have around me where I'm pretty much the only one that is really gung-ho about angel stuff. So, you know, I have a couple of friends here and there that you're really like really love the angel content, but that's it. And I just remember thinking like hearing him talk about his friends and how accepting they are of him with the angel content and um, his mom being so like proud of him about, you know, being an angel medium and things like that. It just made me realize like I need to just do it. I need to just pursue it and not worry about what anyone says or what anyone is thinking because in the end I will attract to me the vibration that I am putting out, right? I am meant to follow this path for a reason and I have been so strongly called to the path of being an angel medium um, even though it, I didn't know why, right? I was just, I was following it blindly, um, doing my tarot readings and things like that. The angels kept coming to me and I just kept being a medium for them and I was like, okay, this is what I'm doing and I never questioned it. But Get it, in getting these gift cards and finding this oracle right I fell down this Kyle Gray rabbit hole and the more meditations of Kyle Gray that I watched the more um, I heard him talk about being an angel medium being just who he is um, it led me to want more Kyle Gray in my life right and not in a creepy way not in like a fangirl way i was just like i need to surround myself with what he's doing so that i can figure out how to also do that so i went and i looked up some of his books and i had to keep myself from buying a whole bunch of books or a whole bunch of decks all at one time because my brain also works in in youtube format so i always think of you know what what video can i make out of this so i was thinking of you know, a Kyle Gray haul or all of Kyle Gray's decks or my newest Kyle, whatever. And I kept hearing, you know, just drop it, just drop it. Just do this for you. Be authentic in what you're trying to pursue. Don't do this for the video. Don't do this for anyone else. Do this for you and then speak about how it has affected you and how you have, you know, be, be vulnerable in your truth about how you have pursued this. So. That's what I did. I sat there and I read the reviews of all of his books. I know this is super long-winded. I hope some of you are still with me here. And I read the reviews on some of his books and I finally, finally came to this one. So if you guys are following me on Instagram, you already know that I got this. And um, my initial reaction was to make a video, right? And I just remember I was kind of making a million excuses about not reading this and I just remember thinking like, but the baby and I need to do laundry and I need to do this and I need to do this and I don't have time to read that and I'll look at it later, I'll skim it. And I just remember hearing like, just read it, just read it. You bought it for a reason, just read it. And um, if you guys remember my other little angel book, there is a little excerpt in there that says, um, your angels, angels will give you messages through the books and you can just randomly pick a page and get an angel message out of that right and if you are drawn to pick it up one day or you can't stop looking at it there is a reason your angels are drawing you to that book for you to read it so all of these things are in my head and i'm like damn my my angels they're really telling me to do this right they're really telling me and in doing one of my kyle gray meditations he had, you know, said the words something along the lines of doing whatever it takes to follow the angel's path. Like it, it's a guided meditation. So he tells you what to say in your head, basically. And it's something along the lines of like, I, you know, relinquish the power and I relinquish control and I will, you know, do whatever it takes and I will affect the change that, you know, my angels want me to do and all of these things. So I remember also <laughs> that popped in my head. I was like, damn, I did just say that too, that I was going to do whatever the angels guided me to do. And I can't keep making excuses because those are human excuses, you know, they're trying to help me on the level uh, that they're at because I asked them for that. So I put on the baby's show and I just kind of held her and I was like, you watch your show, I'm going to read my book for a little bit. She didn't think twice about it. And I got through the whole like introduction and the first chapter of this book. And I immediately 
was trying to hold back tears. I was so like overwhelmed because in the introduction of this book, Kyle Gray talks about how he was at a point in time of his life where he was getting a little overwhelmed with uh, being an angel medium and helping so many people and not feeling fulfilled in his own life. So he kind of tried to relinquish his path and just be normal for a little bit and it kept finding its way back to him and he had a, a guardian um, angel appear to him and the account that he talks about of his angel coming to him the feelings that he got um, when being in the presence of the angel were exactly the same feelings and thoughts that I felt when being in the presence of that owl in my dream so um, that's why I felt like I needed to like tell you guys the whole backstory of the owl dream first because um, I do reflect on that in the journal that I'm about to read to you. So I really hope you guys are okay with all of this reading because there's no way I could do it without it today. I've been trying to think of ways to like tell you the story and I don't want to miss anything. I don't want to forget anything. So that owl plays a part in there. Okay. So we're going to keep going down the rabbit hole of synchronicities here. So that's the whole backstory about I have been watching Kyle Gray videos, been listening to Kyle Gray. I got this. I'm still waiting on the Oracle deck, right? And at the end of the first chapter in this one, he tells you to journal the little prayer that he has in there. And he tells you to kind of take a moment and reflect on the time that you just had with the with the whole experience with the angels and everything and with devoting yourself to connecting with the angels. And he says, you know, just journal it, take a moment, claim it as yours. And if you guys are following me on Instagram, you already know that I did, um, I did a little angel reading the other day and a couple of the cards that came out were vulnerability and introspection and I was like I can't I can't you know keep giving people these readings and not following them myself so I was like all right I'm gonna be completely honest completely vulnerable completely um, do whatever it is they're telling me to look at and really really introspect here so I'm skipping a whole lot of this first part because it's it's kind of me giving a little bit of backstory about a story I don't want to share with you. So I'm going to skip that part. And then I do talk about here the gift cards, the Kyle Gray Oracle. So many glowing, glowing reviews, blah, blah, blah. Sharing more of my angel messages led to his books. So I do give a lot of this backstory in here that I did just give you same thing what a great way to start the year a kyle gray unboxing i thought <laughs> i had to hold back from buying multiple decks and books and i searched up okay here we go so this is the story that i wanted to tell you guys about me being on um me being on amazon looking for other things kyle gray right so after i had gotten my my book and my deck i was looking for angelite on amazon because i do have pieces of angelite on a wish list and angelite if you guys do not know it is a type of celestite that um is very high vibrational helps you connect with the angels and uh, helps the angels kind of connect with you so I kept feeling like I really needed that I was like I need to strengthen my bond with the angels right so I searched up angelite and I kept hitting the wall of expense and somehow a bracelet found me a seven chakra bracelet a seven chakra lava rock bracelet with an owl on it and not just any owl the same great horned owl from my dream I immediately added to my cart without a second thought and I kept switching it out for angelite. I kept hearing balance, lava rocks, owl, and I kept going back to the bracelet. I remember thinking, my chakras are balanced enough. I need the angelite, like kind of just exasperated, like I, I need the angelite. I remember that feeling of like arguing with myself and <laughs> my, <laughs> I think that's so funny that I was like, my chakras are balanced enough. And I heard a laugh, like a chuckle. How foolish to assume you have achieved perfect balance. That's your ego talking. Balance before communication, I heard. And I laughed. So I added it back to my cart. Good call, angels. Your move. You got me. I'll listen. So the story has a purpose, I promise. I love that I put that in here because I knew I was going to read it. So my angel book arrived today and I honestly made a million excuses as to why I couldn't open it. I heard a voice point out to my earlier guidance of claiming time and space for my introspection and I did say that I openly accept the angel guidance that I would do whatever it took to follow their guidance for my highest good 
and in a Kyle Gray meditation. So I chuckled again and I turned the baby's show on and sat down to read the intro of the book. Kyle affirmed many things that I have been told in meditation recently and ended the intro with an exercise to welcome the angels into my life with an open heart. His own recollection of the feeling he got when meeting his guardian angel matched my own and I was overwhelmed with chills and tears. Kyle suggested keeping a journal of your prayers and reflections and encounters, so I promptly dug out my notebooks and found you. Kyle talks about the acceptance as the angels and change of perspective as a way to manifest miracles. And here is, here is this special little leather journal with golden pages that I've held on to for 10 plus years with no knowledge as to why. I just knew that one day I would need it. And it says on the front, every day holds the possibility of a miracle. So I, oh, I once said in my young life that I had never witnessed a miracle until the blessing of my beautiful angel baby. So I must be changing a lot because I see many little miracles every day now. So here I am giving my life to God and the angels and asking them wholeheartedly to guide me through the process of forgiveness, gratitude, love, and faith. And today it starts with the time to journal. This is a miracle with the actively crawling and eating little baby. So I'm going to follow today's advice from my angels and vulnerably journal. <laughs> Maybe this could be the book I've been trying to publish for 10 years, who knows? Maybe this is why I've pursued my degree in English composition and literature. This little journal here. What amazing synchronicity that would be. These definitely are no coincidences. So bless you. So I'll try my best to stay diligent and write this book. I remember thinking the other day about how accomplished Kyle Gray is and how I needed to pursue accomplishments to attract someone beautifully accomplished into my life as well. I am so in awe of Kyle and want to be just like him someday. So here we go. Let's journal this prayer that Kyle has instructed me to journal and reflect on. And he called it, I said here, he called it honoring the start of the journey with the angels. I reread that. He did not. That was my words. So here I go. So here is the little prayer that Kyle does give us in the very first part of this book. I want to make it very clear. This is not my prayer. This is Kyle's prayer that was written in this book. Okay. I don't want anyone getting mad that I am infringing on Kyle. I am not taking these words as my own. This is even quoted in my journal uh, with the book name and everything. So it says, um, and the reason that I want to share this with you guys, because if you are still here, if you are still watching this video, I wholeheartedly believe it is because you um, believe in your angels, you believe in the angel guidance, you believe wholeheartedly in the journey that I am going on with my angels, and I think it will help you a whole lot too. So if you would like to welcome your angels into your life and go about this journey as well on your own, you can also start an angel journal if you would like. I do highly recommend this book and I will put where you can find it on Amazon in the description box along with Kyle Gray's socials. Um, I'm not sure if he has a website. I'm, I will track that down for sure because I want to give him full credit for the things I am seeing in his book. So what we are going to read here is the prayer to welcome your angels into your life. Okay, so if you guys do not want to welcome your angels, you don't want to go down this path, definitely don't watch the rest of this video because that's what I'm going to do here is read that prayer. And just by hearing me read the prayer, you are inevitably listening to it also welcoming your angels with this prayer. Okay, so if you guys would like, you can also turn the captions on so that you can write down this prayer for yourself. And I might even share it on Instagram just to also uh, coincide with this video. Okay, so here's the prayer for you guys. It says, Dear Angels, I thank you for joining me on my pathway. It is so good to know that you are real and with me. At this moment, I take the opportunity to change. It is time to let go of the restrictive thoughts that once tied me to fear and guilt. Today, I choose to move in a new direction, the direction of love. Thank you, dear ones, for removing the barriers of fear from my heart so that I can clearly perceive the presence of love, the presence of God, and the presence of you, dear angels. I am willing to change with positive intentions, and I welcome you into my life to guide me and to show me the way to a more loving, fulfilled life. I open my heart to love, and I accept that this is the only way forward. Thank you, angels, and so it is. 
So um, <laughs> clearly I've been doing a lot, a lot, a lot of watching Kyle Gray, like an unhealthy amount of watching Kyle Gray lately. And um, I definitely recommend not only his books, not only his decks, but also his channel. Um, there are tons and tons and tons of tarot readers that also rave about him as an angel medium. So if you guys are at all curious about who Kyle Gray is, about his angel meditations and things like that, he's going to guide you a lot better than I will right now. I am just barely um, getting footing on my journey as an angel medium. So if you would like the experience of learning from Kyle Gray, please do so. I think it will help you guys a whole lot. It has helped me so substantially. And that's what I wanted to point out here is that I do highly recommend this book. I am not a... Wow! I am not affiliated with this uh, link in any way for you guys. I just really highly recommend this. And if I could send this to every single person, I would because he talks about relinquishing fear and control and um, letting go of your past and everything in order to move forward in the vibration of love. And that is something that I talk about all the time here. So um, I cannot rave about this book enough. I cannot rave about Kyle Gray enough, but I'm going to stop because this video is very lengthy. So definitely, please, 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 my loves, if you have made it this far in the video and you are so very drawn to what I am talking about, please check out this book. Please check out Kyle Gray. Please check out his oracle cards. Please check out his videos, whatever behooves you to check out, okay? Because um, I just wanted to make the point to say that as connected as I am to my angels, there is always room for growth and wow like i would love to be where kyle is and um as connected as i have been to my angels so far i am just skyrocketing now with all of his help with all of his meditations with you know just barely starting this book and you know i i just I wish that I could give this gift to everyone, but I know not everyone is open and receptive to the idea of angels and angel guidance. So um, I really thank you guys. If you made it to the end, please give me a big thumbs up. You know that helps me out so, so much. And if you would like this video to reach the people who are searching for angel guidance videos, this will also help that reach them. I really hope that you guys tell me in the comments what you think here about Kyle Gray, about this whole prayer guidance situation. I would really like to incorporate more of these journaling exercises and prayers and whatnot in my um, All About the Angels series. Um, again, I do credit all of that to Kyle Gray. I am not going to take any credit for anything that is in this book because I did not write it. It came from the beautiful mind and heart of Kyle Gray. So um, if you guys are at all interested in following me along in this journey, they will be in my All About the Angels playlist. So I can't wait to see you guys there. I hope that wherever you are, when this video reaches you, my friends, you have a beautiful, wonderful day. And I cannot wait to see you in the next one. Namaste.